Hey guys, Mrs. Sketch here. Today I'm going to show you the cool things you can do with color in pages to help you on your minimalist poster. So here I have two different shapes. I have the one that I created customly using the pen tool in my last video, and then I just have a simple circle to show you different options within those. Uh, to start off, I guess to access all of the colors, you guys want to make sure that these two options are open here. So fill, if you just hit here, it's going to give you a, a limited set of colors. But if you open it up, it actually gives you many choices that you can use. I'm going to start off really simply with color fill and then make sure to choose this beautiful little rainbow wheel. And then it gives you different ways that you can choose colors within pages. So for example, I just have a very simple color wheel here where I can poke around. I can change how dark or light things are. Um, I can also go to the different kinds of sliders. And the reason I like to show this area is that if you ever have a certain color you like and you want the hex code, this is where you would type it in. And so what I mean by a hex code is, up, let's say up here, I can take a picture of a color. And if I wanted to use it, so let's say I really like this crimson pink here. If I go up, take, copy that, and paste it in here, it should, it should give me the color. That's very frustrating. Try that one more time. All right, hopefully it works. It'll be very sad if it doesn't. There it is. All right, sorry, I just had to put in the hashtag. So you can put in custom colors using um, hex codes. And what's really cool too is that if you have the little swatch here, you can just like drag it in and it'll save it so you can use it ahead of time. They have really simple ones too as well. If you wanted to check some of those out, Web safe colors I've always found is interesting that people never really check to ignore them. And the one that I always like to show people is one where you can actually import palettes in there. So there's a great website if you would like to access it. So if, let's say I went to um, Color Lovers. Oh, I don't have the internet. Turn that on. So two different websites that I talked to you guys about are Color Lovers and Adobe Color. And you can create your own color palettes, you can search, and borrow from other ones that people have created. Um, so let me try to go ahead and open this up again here. So sometimes people feel like, oh, I need to write down all the hex codes. I need to take all these pictures of things. You actually do not need to do that. So I could just go to where it says browse and I hit palettes. And I'm just going to go ahead and pick the first one that I see just to make it simple. And then all you need to do is take a screenshot. And then when you go into pages, usually you figure out where your screenshot was saved. If you go here to this little wheel and you go new from file, it was on my desktop and I'm going to select my screenshot here. And when I open it in, there's my palette. So it's already saved. So I can just easily color and I can pick any kind of shape and give it a color if I wanted to. So this is actually something that's really helpful to point out. So if you see here, I have my dog selected, but it's not coloring it because right now it's just, it's, it doesn't know which one to pick. You always have to make sure that you pick your object first and then you go to the kind of color fill you want and then you mess around with it. So it's kind of an annoying thing, but that's what happens. Also, you guys have your borders. So I usually tend to go to, for, to have no borders, but if you did want one, you can turn on the line and then you can do the same thing with picking your color. You can also decide how thick your line is going to be. And then shadow, pretty simple. There's different kinds. You can drop shadow, you can decide where it goes, how big the blur is, this and that, and move it around. Lots of freedom there. So that's just a very little brief introduction into the things that you can do with color. Some other things I always like to show kids is that there's also something called a gradient fill. So gradient is obviously where you can have two different colors and make them kind of go into each other. You can mess with the angle, you can flip the direction that it's in. With advanced gradient fill, it's even more colors. Like So you could do radial, which means it's a circle from the inside out. Or you could do where it's just horizontal or vertical. And then you can actually like add a color if you wanted. So let's see here. I would just click on the color palette deal and like just add another one. So this is where you can make like really cool sunsets and decide like where they go. So just a few choices for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be more than happy to help you out. But just get started on looking up those color palettes or creating your own and drop them in and see what happens.